Hello everybody, Tukolo here. How is everyone today? I'm doing great. Finally, no one is bugging me to go outside so I can focus on playing card games and writing YouTube scripts. Ah, the bliss. Anyway, that's not the point of today's video. I'd like to spark a discussion of a possible card concept that would, in my humble opinion, make some rather forgotten and underwhelming archetypes pretty relevant. So let's get right into it. Orchestrated Babel. This is one of, if not the best card in the orchestra archetype. Its ability to grant spell speed 1 effect, spell speed 2 is something that was unprecedented until the card was released. It was limited only to Orcus monsters in the graveyard and Orcus link monsters, but that was enough for this card to be considered ban worthy by the community. Within of itself, it doesn't do much. It all boils down to the targets and the effects that gain spell speed 2 thanks to Babel. At that point, I started wondering. Would a Babel-like card, that is a card granting spell speed 2 to spell speed 1 effect, be able to make some of the older archetypes relevant? Or at least playable? I came up with a list of at least three that I think such a card would help if not completely break them. The first deck, being Scraps, focuses on Synchro Summons and Self-Destruction. I think that making the effect Spell Speed 2 would greatly boost the deck's disruption ability. As things are now, it has none unless outside support is used. The second deck, Cloudians, primarily focuses on generating fog counters and taking control of the field using various effects. This deck, just like Scraps, has no disruption ability. It can easily clear the boards from the field, but it cannot defend itself. The final deck, Asia, unlike previously mentioned ones, has a bit of a disruption potential. However, all the effects can only be used during your turn. Warding this sort of effect correctly is going to be an issue. I'll go over it with each deck separately, so not to cause confusion. Anyway, here we go. For Scraps, the issue lies with two cards specifically, Scrap Wyvern and Scrap Golem. Why only those two? Well, Wyvern can revive a Scrap monster once per turn, after which can destroy a card the owner controls. Nothing really game-breaking here. However, the second effect can cause issues. It summons a Scrap monster from the deck and destroys a card on the field. This is also nothing bad until you look at the bigger picture. At the end of this, the owner of Wyvern gets to summon an additional monster and pop an opponent's card, pretty much going plus two, just because. The part of Scrap Golem is a bit trickier though. The only possible option for Scrap Golem to be a disruption for the opponent would be for it to summon Scrap Searcher to the opponent's side of the field, so all the monsters the opponent controls get destroyed. For it to be balanced, I would either restrict the usage to the Synchro Monsters only, or take a page from Lair of Darkness and make it a once per turn occurrence. When it comes to the Claudians, their effects are very versatile. There's monster removal, back row removal, swarming and hand destruction. What I'm worrying about and what I'm most worried about is the possibility of quick effect hand looping. When it comes to balancing, it can be limited to only monsters with 1000 less attack points or, like previously, make the upgrade a once per turn effect. When it comes to Asia, this doesn't really need too much balancing. The issue would be of Loki's effect, since it specifically states whose battle phase it can be used in. I'm not sure this could be worded to override that effect, but if that would be the case, that would be awesome. That would be it for this video. What do you think about the idea? Would there be any other archetypes that would benefit from such a card to be added to the arsenal? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I would love to hear about those. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.